The day the unthinkable happened, 9.30 a.m. The attack, the RS-28 Sarmat missile, launched from Russian territory, soared through the skies at near supersonic speeds, its payload aimed directly at the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant, located on the California coastline. The missile carried a thermonuclear warhead capable of delivering immense destructive power. As the missile approached, there was a mere 30-minute warning before impact. Early warning radar systems across the U.S. detected the missile launch, triggering alarms across military and government agencies. Emergency systems were activated, but there was no time to intercept the warhead, which traveled at speeds too fast for current defense systems to stop. 9.45 a.m. The Impact when the missile struck Diablo Canyon, the detonation was instantaneous and incredibly powerful. The blast radius obliterated the plant itself, vaporizing the reactors and cooling pools. The explosion created a fireball that engulfed everything in its path, including the nearby coastal town of Avila Beach and parts of San Luis Obispo. Thousands of plant workers and residents in the immediate area were killed instantly. The intense heat caused a massive firestorm, with flames spreading rapidly, fueled by the explosion's immense energy. The destruction was so severe that even the reinforced concrete containment domes, designed to withstand accidents, could not prevent the catastrophic release of radioactive materials. 10 a.m. Nuclear fallout. In the aftermath of the explosion, radiation began to spread rapidly. Radioactive particles were carried into the atmosphere, where they formed a toxic plume. Depending on weather patterns, the fallout could be carried over vast areas, affecting major cities in California, including Los Angeles, and possibly further inland. The immediate area around Diablo Canyon became uninhabitable, and the radiation would render it a dead zone for years, perhaps even centuries. Those within a 50-mile radius of the explosion, such as residents of Santa Barbara and San Luis Obispo, would be exposed to lethal doses of radiation leading to death within days or weeks for many survivors. The detonation also caused a chain reaction that compromised the cooling systems of other nearby reactors. Any remaining reactors in the region would be at risk of overheating, possibly leading to additional meltdowns and radioactive releases into the environment. 10.30 a.m. The aftermath begins. The shock waves of the blast were felt across the western United States and emergency responders were overwhelmed within hours. Hospitals in California were flooded with survivors suffering from radiation sickness, burns, and trauma. Many would later succumb to radiation poisoning, while others would face long-term health problems like cancer and genetic damage. The U.S. government declared martial law in affected areas, attempting to contain the fallout and evacuate survivors. However, with critical infrastructure destroyed, including power grids, transportation and communication systems, coordination was near impossible. Internationally, nations scrambled to understand the scale of the disaster. The U.S. government condemned the attack as an act of war, and Russia faced severe global backlash. Tensions soared and global markets collapsed as the true extent of the devastation began to unfold. 11 a.m. Global Impact While the immediate casualties from the explosion were staggering, the broader impact was even more devastating. The radioactive fallout spread across the globe, carried by wind currents. Within days, radiation began to affect other countries, causing international panic. Nuclear contamination would devastate agricultural systems in the U.S., with crops poisoned by fallout, leading to widespread food shortages. Water supplies were contaminated with radioactive isotopes, further exacerbating the crisis the environmental impact would be felt worldwide. Oceans and rivers near the plant would be heavily contaminated, affecting marine life and ecosystems. The climate could also suffer as the detonation could inject large amounts of soot and radioactive material into the atmosphere, possibly causing a phenomenon similar to a nuclear winter with a drastic drop in temperatures and reduced sunlight. Long-term consequences, health crisis. The survivors who were not killed by the initial blast or immediate radiation exposure would face years of health problems. Cancer rates would soar, particularly in those who received significant radiation exposure. Children born in the following years could suffer genetic deformities and other developmental issues. Political and military fallout. 
the United States would likely retaliate with overwhelming force, triggering a full-scale military conflict.